Breaking India. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here is the breaking news. Yes, big YouTube businessman Mehul Choksi plated over valued low quality laboratory prepared diamonds and gemstones to get a loan from the Industrial Finance Corporation of India Limited, that is called IFCI, a government entity. In 2016, the Central Bureau of Investigation said. In its latest chart sheet, the CBI said that the standard jewelry which had been pledged was already under pledge for another corporate loan availed by Choksi's companies earlier. The press chart sheet would be used by the CBI to convince the Interpol that Choksi is a habitual offender. India is looking to get Choksi extra digit from Antigua and Barbuda where he is currently residing a HC report say this is an important move as India looks to get Choksi extradited he had alleged that the Indian agents have deused him from Antigua and Barbuda in May 2021 following the Interpol had withdrawn its red notice India has however vehemently contested the decision by the Interpol. Choksi is wanted by India in the 2 million Punjab National Bank fraud case. The latest case against the figurative businessman was taken up by the CBI last year. It pertains to a loan of rupees 25 crore taken from the IFCI Limited by pledging his company shares as well as diamonds and gold jewelry. The CBI has named his company Gitanjali Gems Limited and valuers Surajmal Lalu Bhai and company Narendra Jameri, Pradim Chandra Saha and Srenik Saha also in the case. The CBI alleges that four different valuers in convenience with Choksi had submitted inflated valuations which range from rupees 35 rupees 34 crore to rupees 45 crore based on this the ifci disbursed the loan of rupees 25 crore into the account of gitanjali james limited on september 30 2018 on the same day the entire loan amount was diverted to premier internet a partnership firm that is controlled by choksi the cba also said in its chart sheet after Gitanjali James failed to repay the loan amount, the IFCI got a press valuation of the 896 pieces of jewellery done through two valuers. They reported that the value of the jewellery is Rs. 2.03 crore and Rs. 76 lakhs respectively. This was around 98% less than what was declared by Choksi. The CBI said the valuers also observed that the diamonds are of low quality lab prepared chemical vapor diamonds and other inferior colored stones and not real gemstone. The CBI also got an independent valuation of the place jewelry done through two government approved valuers in the presence of an independent witness. It was revealed that the value of the jewelry to be rupees 69 lakhs and rupees 76 lakhs respectively it was also confirmed that the jewels were of inferior quality the charts in the investigation thus revealed that the accused person in conspiracy with each other induced the bank in sanctioning the loan amount by submitting highly inflated and false valuation report of the placed jewelry then the report have to be BMW Report, Glory, Globe TV, Delhi, India.